Welcome into the 901. The Grizzlies were back at FedEx for the night going for the series win over the Mavs. Now Kyrie Irving and Dylan Brooks had plenty to say to each other. Dylan picked up his 18th tech tonight, so he'll be out Wednesday against the Rockets. Kyrie put Dallas up 16 just before the end of the third, but the Grizzlies held him scoreless the rest of the way while Santi Aldama cooked, finished with a career high 22 points, 14 boards as the Grizz complete the comeback and top the Mavs 112 to 108. Now Monday was John Morant's first day back with the team since his eight game suspension. He did not play tonight. Taylor Jenkins said Morant played five on five this afternoon. The hope is he returns on Wednesday. He's got that under his belt. He's going to be a part of practice tomorrow and then you know obviously we're hopeful for Wednesday so long as everything medically clears out but that's been the ramp up process you know on top of individual work he was doing separately. So um, you know good first day back and uh, excited to have him back with the team. Memphis women's basketball was in action tonight hosting Ball State in the second round of the WNIT. The Tigers weren't messing around. They jumped out to an early 26 and 8 run and leading the way was Jamira Schutz. She dropped a game high 23 helping Memphis defeat Ball State 79 to 62. They advanced to the Super 16 where they'll get Bowling Green. Well, Memphis 901 have seen just announced one of the biggest signings in their history. The club added former U.S. men's national team and MLS goalkeeper Bill Hamid, who joins 901 FC after a 13 year career at D.C. United. He'll be introduced tomorrow at AutoZone Park. With your 901, I'm Clayton Collier.